Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter Barber. I am primarily a professional opera singer, music producer, of course a bass vocalist, and a member of the Bass Gang, which I'm so proud to be a part of. Um, we just finished our, we just, we just passed our, our two year mark a few weeks ago. It's amazing and it, crazy it's been that long since I started working with these guys. Um, this is our new song, Hooked on a Feeling, featuring the legendary, maybe the most famous bass singer in the world. I can't believe we got him on the track, Tim Faust. Give it up. Yeah, Tim Faust. Uh, it's a dream come true. Nothing short of a dream come true. Um, I have been the liaison between between our group and and Tim and his engineer, so I've I've gotten to text back and forth with Tim. It's very surreal, like a, a genuine musical hero of mine. Um, so the whole experience has been like a dream. Uh, so we're so happy to have done this project with him. This is my first time seeing this video. I've of course heard the audio before, but this is my first time seeing the video. So I'm gonna watch it straight through, no pauses, so you guys get my. My reaction, because this is the stuff I react biggest to, obviously, because it's, it's so close to home. You can see how giddy I am. Um, and then beyond that, guys, my goal for this channel is to bring as much value and enjoyment as I possibly can to your musical experience. I want to you, you guys to appreciate and enjoy the music you're listening to more than you already do. That's my whole goal here. If I am bringing value to your experience, please do consider joining my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. The link's in the description below. Beyond that, guys, please do like this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel, especially if you if you learn anything new. Subscribe to the channel because you'll learn new stuff in every video. I can almost guarantee that. Um, and once I do the watch through, guys, it will be a reaction and analysis. So you'll get the full reaction, but then I'll go back and I'll be pausing to talk a lot about the vocal analysis of Tim and all the other guys in this group. And uh, I'll talk about Tommy's arrangement a little bit. Tommy's a brilliant arranger, as you guys know. Oh my God. I'm so excited. These are, these are the most oh, these are the most exciting videos I get to do to, to see all the work we put into these projects come to life for the first time and not to mention we'll be on screen with Tim Faust. So it's gonna be wild. I'll be I'll be like a kid in Toys R Us watching this video. So also repping the uh, May the Base Be With You sweatshirt. Um, Right now, I think our merch is down, but we're going to get our merch up and running very soon for you guys. So you can you can support the Bass Gang um, there as well as on Patreon. At this point, I'm rambling. I'm procrastinating because I'm so excited. It's a weird feeling. Oh, God. All right, we got to do it. We just got to do it. Here we go. First time viewing. <clears throat> I can't stop this feeling. Deep inside of me Girl, you just don't realize What you do to me When you hold me In your arms so tight You let me know Everything's alright I'm Hooked on a feeling Come on. Oh. All the 
good love when we're all alone. Keep it up, girl. Yeah, you turn me on. I'm hooked on a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> incredible absolutely incredible oh my god just so fun so uh, marwan actually did the video editing for this um Oh man, let me let me see. Do they have the? I don't know if they have the credits in here. They do. Okay, so yeah, Tommy arranged it. Video by Marwan and Nicole mixing. Ed Boyer mastering. Dave Sprandio. <laughs> Tim Faust performed performed and acted by Tim Faust. Oh man, what an absolute joy! You know, we we there's all the the you know love feeling. We we originally wanted to get this out um, on Valentine's Day. But we pushed it back just to give enough time to get you know the proper editing. So Marwan kind of uh, did the final polishing on the video editing. Turned out super well. You know, of course, all done all done by green screen uh, per usual. Um, Tim, Tim, guys. I mean, you guys know this. Like, there's a reason he's the bass in you know one of the most successful acapella groups of all time. Just like an absolutely wicked, talented singer. Um, I remember when he he first sent in his audio, and we all got to listen to like just his 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 tracks that his engineer sent over, and we were just like mind blown. We're just like, okay, this guy. We already knew it, but it was just further confirmation that he he deserves every bit of praise that he gets, and his his status as you know one of the great bass singers of our generation. Absolutely incredible talent, absurd vocal range, amazing as a solo artist. I mean, he took most of the solo on this song. And his bass lines too, which I'll point some of them out, just like unbelievably accurate, easy access down to his low chest range. Um, you know, t Tim, uh, similar similar to me, our, you know, our chest fry is our best extended technique. Um, but he's got just crazy access to, to low chest notes and just insane high notes up into his mix. I'll flag all of this when we go through and talk about how he's doing it. <sighs> wow. Okay. Okay. Coming back down to earth. Coming back down to earth. That was so much fun. And I feel like there was so much going on. And I was trying to watch everything. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back and break this down. Um, yeah, let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, you know, kicking it off with these Uga Chakas, we all did a number of them. And of course, the original the originals are much higher, so we're gonna of course do our bass version. Oh Uga Chaka, Uga 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 Chaka. Like much, much, much lower than the original, of course. Un unpitched though, you know, no really specific pitches there. Um, and then Tim comes in on the solo. Um, hooked on a feeling. Of course, it was a famous song, but it was kind of remade famous by Guardians of the Galaxy. So we asked him to wear a leather jacket as close as he could resemble to Star Lord, um, Peter Quirrell, you know, played by um, Chris Pratt in the in the show. So that's in the movie. So that's that's why we got Tim in this in this leather jacket here, and the rest of us are wearing more like you know, kind of like date date themed uh, attire, you know, for Valentine's Day. Anyway, let's back this up. I can't stop this feeling. So that's already. I can't stop this feeling. Uh, what, what even is that? What was. I can't stop this feeling. I can't even. I can't even tell what pitch. Healing. I know I sing a D2 there. Someone might be singing a D1. It's hard to say. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. 
So Tim's got the solo here, but it's a pretty, it doesn't really stand out. It's like a very, the, all five voices are very well blended here. <laughs> look, at, look at Tommy's face in this, in this pause here. Sorry to, sorry to do you like that, Tommy. Um, but but Tim, Tim starts this, this approach to his singing, uh, you know, keeping it very simple. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. You know, not putting any extra pressure on it. He's letting the natural vibrato come through. And um, Tim, what I love about Tim's voice that, that you hear a lot later in this piece is he has amazing vocal vocal closure. And I know I have been on a, I have been on a run <laughs> about vocal fold closure because I'm listening to so many artists who have great vocal fold closure in there, especially in their upper range. But Tim's got it like top to bottom, like really strong vocal fold closure, efficient use of the air from all the way up into his high mixed voice, all the way down to his low notes that are so resonant and so crisp and pure. Just great vocal fold closure. So I won't get uh, too far into the, the science of that right now. Literally every video for the last six weeks, I've talked about vocal fold closure. So uh, I want to talk about some other things today with Tim singing. But that's one thing to flag. Tim just has a very, uh, a very efficient, healthy vocal production, and his vocal folds come together very well. And I think that's what what gives him. It, it's what gives his voice such great clarity, and it allows him to. Like when he's singing his low notes, they're not like breathy and like foggy. They're like very in your face and pure. Um, actually, that I mean, it would it would those qualities are what you want in an opera singer. Like really good vocal full closure from the top of your range all the way to the bottom. So, if Tim had taken another path in life, who knows? He might have made one killer bass opera singer because um, he's got so much of that cut and that forward presence in the sound, but also this amazing access to his low notes and, and, and uh, resonance throughout. Um, and that's what you want. That's the combination you want. Deep inside of me, girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. C sharp two. E, e, e. Wait. See, uh, what does it go? C sharp two to E flat two. Nice. What you do to me? Me. me. Yeah, it's E flat two. When you hold me. That was one choreography thing for the video. So when you do these videos, whoever makes the arrangement generally plants plants some kind of storyboard, and we we plan specific moments where we do stuff in coordination because it's all virtual. So it's like okay. On beat three here, you know, Marwan's gonna look to his left, and on beat four, Tommy's gonna look to his right, and so they're gonna be looking at each other. There's a number of moments planned out like this. Remember, this was shot from the left to right. Egypt, Philadelphia. Where is Tim these days? Florida, maybe? I think he's in the same time zone as I am. I can't remember where Tim is. Um, Czech Republic and Boston. So all over the world, so it's just, it's always worth mentioning that, you know, we have not collaborated in person yet. We are hoping to do that in August of this year. We are hoping to go to the Czech Republic, all of us, um, where Casper and Tommy live to actually hang out for two weeks and shoot videos for the next EP. There will be a, a big Kickstarter campaign for that if you guys want to support us. So that'll be, that'll be available, you know, it, you, it, it will be known when that's available, but we're trying to do that. So just to point out again, this is all virtual collaboration. We have all we have not all met in person ever. So just uh, always always interesting to to point out. So there is that one moment here, just where we go me. So we're looking down, then we look up. That's a coordinated thing that that Tommy wanted us to do for the video. So that's up to, uh, that's already up to a high F, which y'all, we get carried away by like vocal range videos. A high F, an F4 for a low bass singer like Tim is actually considered very, very high in chest range. Like that's as high as like basses in opera are 
like almost all bass repertoire in opera is written F4 and lower, between F2 and F4. Now, opera, it's a different, you know, uh, quality and power and, and consistency demanded by those range. That's why two octaves is all you really need, like a really solid two octaves. But it's just worth pointing out that, like, someone like Tim, who, you know, all day is, is good down to, like, a low A or a low B flat in chest, singing, in, singing a high F comfortably, great vocal fold closure, obviously going to sing it perfectly in tune, whether he's live or in the studio. Um, actually, for a lot of his videos, he's sending his green screen videos to us, you know, and Tim, so everyone, in a way, lip syncs for videos. Lip sync doesn't mean that you don't actually sing anything. It just means we don't use the audio from the video shoot. We use the audio from the studio recording. But Tim, like, really sings full out when he is recording video. So I got to hear him sing all these lines. We all got to hear him sing all these lines raw. And it's, they're just like, he just nails it. Just nails it every time. Just like such a consistent singer. Um, and again, mind the vocal vocal closure, the purity and the efficiency of the tone, when he, especially as he ascends higher in his range. But like on that F, it's just pure, it's just pure tone. You know, there's no breathiness whatsoever. So tight, you let me know everything's all right. He opts for a bit of a breathiness on certain tones here just for vocal timbre. And you know, this is a it's a romantic song, right? It's a love song. So you don't want to be in in the listener's face all the time with your voice. You definitely want to have those softer, more intimate approaches. So like you let me know, and it gets a little breathier on no, but then ah is like all right, we're getting into it now. Now we're in like we're in Beltland. Arms so tight, you let me know everything's all right. I'm hooked on a feeling. I love that Tommy had us pull out, you know, mics and mic stands for this piece. It was a it was actually a really fun video shoot. It came at the end of like one of the craziest weeks of my life. It was just like a bunch of opera stuff, a bunch of other stuff. I was moving apartments. It was like, there were just like a bunch of late nights and I had, there was like a bunch of music to learn. And I remember it was, it was like, it was the last thing I did in this crazy stretch. And I was dreading it. It was like, I was, this project is like, I was, it was, it's been so exciting the whole time. And I was so exhausted and kind of strung out that I was dreading the video shoot. And I had a blast. Like once I got into it, I had an absolute blast shooting it. So there's, there's a lot of fun stuff. One of it was, you know, using this mic stand. So, you know, we started full body shots on yellow flicker beat. That was the first time we did full body green screening. And this is the first time we've, I think, used objects in a full body green screen. Um, so Tommy's like, all right, hook up the mic as if it's, you know, connected to something. And we're going to act like, you know, we're Elvis on stage kind of dancing with the mic. So, really great idea. It perfectly captures the whole fun mood of this song. Ah. Also, let's appreciate tongue, uh, tongue, tongue's Tim position. <laughs> let's appreciate Tim's tongue position while he's singing. It's nice and flat. It's rested. It's just rested on the bottom, uh, you know, tip of the tongue behind the bottom row of teeth. Fully relaxed, no tension, you know, no no blockage happening. Just opting for and, and also a very neutral pharynx position. He's not darkening. He's singing very naturally in all ways. Um, just a very a, a great example of you know uh, non classical singing technique. Everything's all right. I'm hooked on a feeling. All right, listen to listen to those bass lines. So like, there's a bunch. There's there's way too much. I mean, it's all crazy multi-tracked. There's way too much stuff happening in the background for me to point out everything. But let, let's let's listen to Tim's. I think it's Tim doing a bass line right now. So he's obviously multi-tracked. And for ease of you know having this this you know famous singer sing with us, we made his video shoot much more simple than the rest of ours. So his was really just like mid shots. Of his solos and bass line, that's it. And like we, you know, we wanted to work around him because um, he was—he's was actually really generous. I'm obviously not going to disclose um, fees or anything like that, but he was very, very generous with his time um, to collaborate with us. 
and that's all I'll say about that. But um, his video shoot was much more simple. I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. I think that's, I'm 99% sure that's Tim running the bass line underneath his solo. And again, when he, when he sent us, you know, his raw takes, it's just like incredibly accurate. Like he could, he could sing these super fast moving bass lines live, for sure. E flat one, let's, where are my vipers? How could I not have the vipers ready? It's the bass gang, plus Tim. So I, b I believe a, a nice E flat one chest fry from Tim there. I believe. Sweet as candy. Oh my god, listen to that bass line. And also, I love that Tommy, well, he wanted us to put on sunglasses uh, for this line, for a number, for a couple lines, and I think it's a great idea. And um, I love that Marwan puts this, like, tropical, like, romantic background in. It's so funny. Also, this, like, earthquake, this earthquake background. And there's, like, the classic Tim low note face with the eyebrow up. So, so good. As sweet as candy. Listen to it again. Listen to that bass line by Tim. Just listen to it. Lips as sweet as candy. Taste is on my mind. Is on my mind. Girl, you got me thirsty for another cup of wine. Wine. Again, up to that F. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just wonderful. So, so Tim, obviously, <clears throat> unless you're trying to have a, a, a really biting sound throughout your range, it's naturally going to get a little more breathy towards the bottom because your vocal folds just don't have to work as hard. They don't have to stretch. It's much more like speech, which is a, generally a little breathier unless you're speaking really loudly. Um, and you hear as Tim ascends, his vocal fold closure gets higher. The sound gets more cut in it. But this is only because he is taking a just a completely natural approach to his sound. You can tell his voice, he could, if he wanted to, maintain a ton of that cut and bite throughout his sound. But to, to maintain that natural approach to the singing, essentially just like you get the breath support started in the diaphragm, you send the air to the vocal folds, and without tension, without tension here in your whole vocal apparatus, you let the vocal folds and the voice do what it wants to do naturally as much as possible. And you kind of, a big part of singing well is, is kind of getting out of your own way. Like the natural instrument is perfect um, for, this, for this style of singing. If you can just get out of your own way and let it do its thing. And Tim, like Tim has wonderful technique, but once you've got that technique established, if you just relax and trust it, then that's, that's when really amazing singing happens. That's when you can, it, it's muscle memory. You don't have to think about it. So you can put much more into the character or the emotion or whatever. And, you know, Tim's such a veteran, he's just got all these skills in his toolkit. Um, and so that's why he can go from singing one of those amazing, quick, you know, bass guitar like bass lines to singing like a high, basically a, a tenor solo. Um, and he can do it, he can do both of them extremely well. Thursday for another couple. So notice the difference in timbre between this line, girl, you got me thirsty space for another cup of wine. Listen to the difference in timbre as he shifts from, you know, a lower or the middle part of his range to the more upper part of his range. And just an absolutely massive sub E fly one subharmonic from Bobby. <clears throat> Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. Let's see if I get it. Nah, not really. It's like like halfway there today. For another cup of wine. Got a bug from you, girl. But I don't need no cure. I'll just stay a victim. Sure. So 
this is kind of like my little solo moment that uh, Tommy gave me. So the voice you hear most prominently in this section is is my voice for the first three lines. And the bell tones, then the bell tones that, that Tommy put in. We all know Marwan is, was pleased by the bell tones. And uh, really nice editing. I like how Marwan's video editing, they, like, they jump in and then they fade. Uh, I think it does a nice, just a nice addition. Also, I haven't really talked about the differences Tommy did to this arrangement versus the original. There are a lot of similarities, but there are also a number of spots where he you know, changed the key center for a second. And this is something Tommy's really wonderful at is, is, is making little, like keeping the essence of the piece, but really doing cool, interesting things to kind of catch you off guard and make it his own. Uh, Tommy's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful at throwing those moments into his arrangements. I mean, that, that's a key change right there that's not in the original. If I can for sure. That's really high. And I love that riff too. So we went up a full step. So that's up to a high G from Tim. Really, really high for a low bass singer, guys. And I want to just flag this little riff here. Just again, showing his vocal control, his vocal accuracy, his vocal agility, uh, which is something I've always really admired about Tim's singing. Just very accurate and very agile. In his in his vocal production. Alone, keep it up, girl. Yeah, you turn me on. Yeah, you turn me on. Yeah, you turn me on. That's high for me, having not warmed up at all. <laughs> and then ah, like great vocal full closure. You know, really accurate attack on the pitch, all the way up to a high G. With some crazy bell tones, which of course we just gotta appreciate the, the floating heads, right? Yeah, you turn me on. <laughs> I didn't notice Marwan going, Tim, oh my god, Tim. Oh, keep it up, girl. Yeah, you turn me on. Alright, so we do we get to watch him do some of his bass lines there. Crazy, just listen to that bass line he's doing, it's wild. Actually, that was, that was my bass line there at the end. I think I... Down to an F, down to an F1, chest fry there. And Tim's Tim is on a B flat one there in chest as well, on the, the bass line that's kind of hidden. Yeah, that was an F1 chest fry for me there. So this part, so Tommy wanted us to do, this is actually kind of tough, the, the choreography is kind of tough to do. So on a different word, Tommy wanted us to go to our left with a microphone and then feeling we all go to the right at the same time. So it's like, so it's like left, 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 and then we all go right. Nice. That's another really, just a, a cool feature of the arrangement here that's uh, not in the original. Not or not, it's done. I can't remember exactly how this part goes in the original. I know it's done. It's done differently in this version. In love, love with me. All the good love. <laughs> when we're all alone. This is just. I mean, this is this is fantastic. <laughs> Look at this lineup. <laughs> and also the background with the hearts and the sunglasses. It's, uh, it's just excellent. It's just excellent. 
Keep it up, girl. And one of my favorite moments in the song. Turn me on. I'm hooked on a feeling. God. It's down to an A, A1, I think. And then jumps all the way up. Ah, that's an A1 chest, bro. And then this part of the song, which is, this is the part that was really fun to record, is Tommy's like, okay, in the, in the full body shot with the green screen, just go absolutely off the reservation with like funny romantic gestures. So you've got, remember I like, I bought a bunch of roses. So I couldn't just buy one that I needed for that love with me moment where we all hold it up. I had to buy 12. So I just got the petals from like seven roses and like a huge handful, threw it up. I was like, whipping myself in the butt with roses. I pretended to stab myself with a rose out of like a R Romeo and Juliet gesture. They were just like a bunch of things and Tommy's just like, go nuts, like do whatever you want. There's one where Casper is proposing to Tommy with a rose. You've got Bobby and Tommy drinking wine. You've got Bobby playing trumpet. It's just really funny. So you can go back and just watch all this absolute madness happening. Um, <laughs> it really adds a lot to the, the kind of, you know, really fun fun, lovey aspect of this song. Yes, riding the rose like a, a horse pretending to make out with someone. <laughs> It's a high B flat from Tim, y'all. I'm like very, very chest dominant. If it's any kind of mix, very chest dominant. Super high, guys. B flat, just below tenor high C for a low bass. Insane. And to sound good on it. Classic Marwan not being, not being old enough to drink, so he drinks a sippy cup. <laughs> Or <laughs> she drinks out of a uh, like a juice box. And <laughs> Tommy playing the roads like a trumpet. <laughs> there it is. There's the proposal. And Casper getting a little cameo in the bass gag video. I love it. He has one, wait, Tim has one of the really high part I want to listen to. You're in love with me. Yeah, I'm gonna be God. So that's obviously a mix of some of some kind. Like he put a little grit into it. I'm gonna be in but like ridiculously high and in control and still sounds good. I mean it's it's wild. It's it's genuinely wild what he can do with his voice. With me. Up to an F, uh, F5. <laughs> Marwan just ate the rose. I didn't notice that one. <laughs> oh, I should have brought the guitar out. Then I was pretending like someone caught me. Someone caught me in the act. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, what an absolute joy. What an absolute joy. Oh, man. This is probably my longest video for a two minute, 47 second song. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something, gleaned some insight into the background of what's happening here. Obviously, not nearly enough time to talk about everything. I mostly wanted to talk about. Tim because it's Tim and it's so cool to have him on this track. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did find value, if you if you can now appreciate the bass gang more, if you can appreciate Tim more as a singer, definitely do consider joining my Patreon for as little as one dollar a month, or if you subscribe for the year, ten dollars and eighty cents a year. It's nothing. It's it's pennies on the dollar. And for just one dollar a month, you get access to my private Discord server. You get early access to all my videos, polls, um, you know, life updates, stuff like that. And then, of course, as you ascend the tiers, you get access to like you know private live streams and um, uh, merchandise for free. And uh, certain tiers, if high enough, I'll write you a personal handwritten letter. Um, we do a happy hour, which is right now only like six or seven people, so it's like super intimate and fun. Um, anyway, check that out for sure. It's the best possible way to support me as an artist, and supporting me is supporting the Bass Gang as well. Um, and obviously, check out the Bass Gang Patreon. We've got many more projects already lined up. Big exciting things. And uh, yeah, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, leave a comment for the algorithm. Could be as simple as Hi Peter or the Bass Gang Rocks or Tim Faust is awesome. Does not matter. All good for the algorithm. And um, hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did. See you later.